Welcome back to Le Pinky for an error-free episode three. Yeah, we'll see. With me, Mr. Sealy P. It's just gone four o'clock, and well, wasn't that a debacle? <laughs> We're down to 41,000, and um, I need a plan. So, I'm going to go to the store. I'm going to buy the header to go with the Fort Trip mower. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to mow this field. I'm going to get whatever grass I can get off of it. Now that may also mean, it's going to absolutely mean, I need to get the milling machine as well because I'm going to use that as like a snowplow loading wagon-esque type piece of machinery. Uh, we'll get the grass off the field, we'll put it into a trailer, we'll take that to the bunker silo because that way that can be fermenting overnight and then I can sell some silage. I mean, that I won't get that till the midnight the following day but that's about the best solution I can come up with at the moment. I'm going to do a load more contracts. I'll do more of that. Probably do some during the course of the night, as I have done before. Um, but that's my. Yeah, that's the best thing I can think of. Um, there are probably all sorts of other ways, and I'm sure I'm, I'm filming these back to back, so I'm probably going to get um, comments left saying I should have just sold the other bale don't worry about it that kind of thing and then the other half of the people saying you know you shouldn't have made such a mess of it in the first place uh, which is also a fair point uh, this will be under I'm assuming the header is there we go 15,000 oh I can't remember what colour the what colour have we got um, I think it's green with yellow you know what would be easier let's go and actually get that first and then I can get the header to match I don't want to get the wrong colour header I'm just compounding mistakes otherwise right so along here, chuck a left should take us up to which, what was initially if you start a new farmer the sheep farm but obviously I've removed that that's now a manure cell point and that's where the fortress is in one of the barns over here so we'll get that now as I recall the fortress is a little bit noisy the E303 but it does make a phenomenal sound when it starts uh, I might get one of the uh, oh what was it I think in testing at the moment is the Zetorx Crystal, isn't it? Um, I might get one of those. It depends if any mods come out today. It depends how I go about recording this episode. So let's put this over here for the time being. Stop the engine and jump out. And here we are. So we've got the green with... Oh, they look like... Are they white? White cab. Okay. I need to get the header to match that. So... Yeah, fairly noisy. So we'll get this to this door, get the right header to match, and then we'll mow that field. And we'll get the mini machine. And we'll do that, yeah. That's today's plan. Let's we'll see how that pans out. Luckily, the header has a trailer, kind of built in. I mean, we haven't got far to go to get to the grass field either, so shouldn't take too long. Now that field hasn't been fertilised because it's fully grown. I couldn't put any fertiliser on it, but once it's been cut, I should then be able to get at least one more fertilising state on that, which means it will be more productive. Like that. Uh, be more productive on the next cut, but which potentially could be the next tomorrow morning, couldn't it? So right. We were. Uh, rim colour, I think, is the same. 
main colour is the green. That looks about right to me. Let's buy that. I think while we're here, let's grab a milling machine. I can't remember now. Was it under miscellaneous? I think it might have been. No, not belt systems. There we go, milling machine. That's only five grand. Only five grand. I've got loads of money spare. No worries. Let's get that. <laughs> Should I get standard that colour or should I go for something? I don't want to go Mississippi Green. I do that all the time. Let's go for something a little bit different, shall we? Yeah, oh, it's an extra grand, wasn't it, to change the colour? <laughs> Yeah, so let's go canary yellow. Why not? A nice bright. We're not going to lose it in the long grass, are we? So, we need to now. Oh, of course, the header will be put in a really useful position like that, which I can get the trailer hitch to. Please get the trailer hitch to it. Okay. We are hooked up. Maybe I should start just editing out the mistakes. It's probably easier. <laughs> it's not far to the grass for it, so I haven't got to worry. Literally, just it. So, what we will do... Which way round is it? It's that way, isn't it? Let's disconnect that. Let's hook up. That's sort of meant to put the wheels away, isn't it? I think so. Oh no, maybe not. Right it has. Cool. And let's mow this field, shall we? I don't know how much grass we're going to get off of it, but whatever we get, we're going to the bunker silo to make chaff. Get that spinning up to speed. And away we go. Well, good. We haven't come up with a symbol saying that you don't own this field, so that's always a good start. Hey, looking behind us. We are... Cutting grass. Right. I think we're going to get some quite steep angles around this, because we've got a bit of a dip into the middle of field 40. But we'll cut everything we can. It's not a bad sized field, is it? Looking at it. I can see some of the fields on this map because of the you know the dips and the troughs and the little valleys and machinery big with bigger headers, wider headers would really struggle on these because they wouldn't be able to do the tight curves. We should come back along to ourselves in a second. Okay. Don't know how much we're going to get off of it, but. It should all be good.
Okay, field 40 is cut. Let's take this and put it away. We'll have to go and get the milling machine. And I don't know if it's a Lisa trailer or not, because the tar up's a little bit, probably a bit small. Like I say, if I'm going to try and put a load of, I don't know how much this is going to take out to that little bunker silo. Um, I don't want to be 10,000 litres at a time, it's not very much, but then to be fair, it's right next to the field, so it's not going to be a huge problem, is it? Be a few trips backwards and forwards, but then why not? Uh, where can I put this? I think I might just leave this in somewhere. Let's put this up against the, the pig shed. For the time being, if it'll fit, pop this in here. Wow, that was quite the noise. Uh, I'm going to need this because I need the three point link on the front. I think I'm going to put uh, some standard tyres back on this as well. Ah, I was told. Is it Baron Papa? He said the rear window opens too. L1, R1. We've got uh, <laughs> forwards and backwards on the right stick and then left and right. So I can have the air blowing right the way through. Well, that Miller machine looks ungainly and it looks massive. However, it's far, far cheaper than getting a loading wagon. So let's drop that down. Let's see how we get on with this, shall we? I'm going to fill up this trailer fairly quickly. working. Do is we're going to get to the cat there. Let's 
turn that off. Disconnect. And turn this to the bunker silo. That's going to be interesting with the side tip, isn't it? After some fiddling about backwards and forwards, uh, a couple of things worth pointing out. I did say earlier on that um, because the grass has fully grown, it wouldn't allow me to do a fertilising state. And that isn't actually true. This isn't a field you can fertilise. This is like um, the grassy areas you get around the edges of maps and stuff like that. Yes, it is a field. Yes, it is field 40 that you can buy. However, there's no kind of field boundary. Usually when you get a grass field, or sometimes when you get a grass field, you get that field edge and then you get the actual field itself which can be fertilised um, to give you a better yield on the grass or whatever's in there. This doesn't. What you can do is plough it out and then plant grass in it which then you could fertilise but as it stands at the moment, can't do anything with it. Whatever the yield is, is whatever the yield is, um, it can't be fertilised. Uh, I just thought I'd mention that because I was kind of under that assumption because all the rest of the fields are kind of fields with a boundary that grass one isn't um, so there you go Bunker Silo has got uh, I think about 80, 86, 87 thousand litres in it what have we got uh, 87,888 that's what we got off that field not a huge amount so it was just over it was, well, it was 9 runs I did with the little um, tar up trailer so what we're going to do now is hopefully blanket the silo okay with that being done let's say it's not a huge amount but it's in there so you know that's now fermenting away and doing its thing um i did release a bucket just to tidy up a couple of these areas at the ends okay so another problem dealt with this has been recorded in two separate chunks um i recorded one lot straight off the back of episode two which has turned out to have been possibly my worst episode ever um i've been on and i've been going through the comments and the feedback and the dislikes and uh, i can't blame you 
it was my fault it was my mistake uh it's what i think is described as an a brain fart um i'm not apologizing for it it happened it i i don't know why i got in my head that you couldn't unload a partial bail because i've done it before on ravenport um yeah don't know why uh, and it just it was a disaster of an episode so there you go it's what it is uh you accept and move on i think is the best way of looking at it so there you go it's done uh i have my decision though based off the back of that in that i'm going to sell that cotton bale the spare one i've got to kind of balance out what went wrong at the end of the day it's there i'm going to do it i'm going to get rid of it i've leased the um the cotton bale trailer again the small one the single one because i've only got one to get rid of uh, what I've also done is I've taken on a contract for baling. Um, now that contract requires the field to be mowed, uh, windrowed, baled with the baler wrapper, so baled and wrapped, and then transported to be sold. Now from what I gather, from comments that have been left and what, what I've been told, um, I haven't actually done a baling contract. Because I did quite a bit of bailing on Ravenport and I was doing bailing for myself and I've done it on other Let's Plays. Um, I never ever picked up the bailing contracts because I thought, well, you know, it's a lot of work and it just, I, I couldn't see why I was going to do that, you know. But what actually transpires, or so I've been told, is it, that if you fulfil the contract and you've got spare silage bales left, like with other crops, they're yours. You can do what you like with them. So if I put one bale in at a time to fulfil the contract, any bales that are spare, again, are mine. Therefore, I will make money on selling them. So all the equipment is there. I've borrowed, because uh, I haven't got my own equipment to do all of these jobs. So we've got um, the disc buying. We've got a front pottinger. Uh, which one is it? Can't remember. 302? Anyway, uh, we've got a fence. 720. A uh, couple of these, and I haven't used these yet. Bale collectors. Um, these ones open and close and do various other cool things. Wind rower and probably my favourite baler at the moment, the baler wrapper, the Coon FBP3135. I am still hoping, fingers crossed, for some more balers to come out. Um, ones that are a little bit more, you know, that are cheaper to buy realistically because the balers in game are fairly expensive. Uh, right, so. Let's get rid of this bale and kind of rectify the damage from episode 2. I'm kicking myself. I'll, I'll be honest. Like I say, I'm not, I'm, it's not an apology because it happened. It's done. You know, I'm kicking myself and I'm disappointed with myself because I can't believe and I'm honestly and really honestly hand on heart I am concerned about my mental health. I am seriously concerned because I'm forgetting a lot of stuff and I know in the last few episodes I've had a few comments from different people and I've even noticed myself things that I know things that I should know things that I'm fully aware of I'm forgetting and I don't know why I don't know why I can't remember that I've done these things and I don't know why I can't remember having done guy 2 videos on and mod reviews and assistance videos and then I go on to a let's play and I've forgotten that so I am a bit concerned if I'm being so honest um, yeah it's not good anyway it's quite interesting isn't it I think because I assumed I would do it with forks or something I think we do then I think Oops. I come at this at an angle from here. Anyway, this may cut in a moment if it's absolutely ghastly, which is more than likely to be. The way things have been going at the moment, it's probably more than likely. You know, you have those days, well, you might not do it, depends if you do videos or not, where you stop and you think, I don't want to make any more. It's not going particularly well at the moment. I don't know why. Behind. 
if you notice in the yard the silo's gone it's gone back to the biogas um, I did um, no, I'll talk about that in a minute actually let me take this back conversation I had with Barris and I liked it I liked what he said it made a lot of sense it was kind of clever um, I might try it I don't know I'll explain you in a moment Let's unload this. Right, so we made 34 grand on that bail. We were on 54, I think, when I started episode 2. And I was supposed to do that cotton contract, which would maybe was supposed to make about 5.5 grand. Which would have put me on about 60 ish. So we're a little bit up. Um, and you know what? That's the way it is. We're a little bit up. So let's take this back to the yard. Or back to the store. So this is the thing. Um, Barris commented and said about pigs. And obviously, a lot of people don't touch them. A lot of YouTubers don't touch them. A lot of, you know. Because they don't make you a huge amount of money, they're not particularly cost effective, they use a lot of crops and resources um, for what you actually get and for what you make back on the pigs. So a lot of people don't bother. Now I said I haven't done them yet and I wanted to do some pigs, I'm doing pigs in here. So Barish said what he generally does is that he does all of his crops as he normally does, but those crops he sells because they're crops he's produ produced and they're good quality crops which deserve to fetch a good quality price. What he normally has on his um, map is one of the buy anything silos, which kind of acts like um, a local, you know, farm depot type thing. Um, in that, you can go there and buy produce. So if you're feeding your pigs, you don't need the very best quality food because pigs will eat pretty much anything um, oh no um, so the point being you sell all your crops for a good price because they're good quality you know top notch stuff that you've produced with the money you then go and buy lower quality stuff to feed your pigs because they don't need good quality stuff they're quite happy with the slightly poorer quality stuff there's a logic to that and it kind of it kind of resonated with me I, I like that idea that I can continue to do the crops um, return that that I was going to do anyway I can get the crops that I was going to get from um, Jeremy, Ben and Elise but what I can do is sell my crops and I can go to the local which is now back at the biogas um, and I can buy slightly lower quality stuff to feed to the pigs thus saving a bit of money here and there making money on my crops and then buying cheaper stuff I know I kind of like that idea it makes sense uh, and, and it kind of works for let's play because I suppose yeah you I don't know a lot of people I guess would just buy pig food in wouldn't they? I don't know. Um, actually what should I sold the cotton bale made my money back moved the silo done the grass that's compacted covered and good to go I think what I might do you know is I'll take this and I might as well start the bailing contract um, I'm not going to do it all in this episode so what I'll do is because it's what time is it now it is God, this, I, I really still can't get used to this when you look up in the top right hand corner the information when you've got bright sky you still it's terrible to see isn't it uh, Oh, that's not bad. 27, and it's still fairly light. So, right, we'll grab this, and we'll grab the disc bind. What I will do is also go into the menu, because it's on field 51, which is... 
over here. Oh, it's not too big a field. Our field 40 is there. Oh, it's smaller than our field 40. Oh, okay. Oh, it's not too bad, so is it? Right. Might as well go and get that done, not I? I mean, to be fair, I could have used my mower. I guess that'll kind of put it into a swath already. But you know what? Now I'm going to use this equipment. Why not? Glad this bind sticks out a long way beyond it. I think at some point in this let's play we might just have to take it as red that those people are going to get in the way. Because they really are getting in the way. <laughs> it's a bit you can't turn people off like you can turn the traffic off if you wanted to. So we are literally... Next one over. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. This field here has got a field edge and this is the field. There is grass in it, but this is a normal field in so much as if I went over this with fertiliser now, the middle part of the field would go dark where the fertiliser went on. Whereas my field 40 isn't. It's more like these edges, so it's kind of grass that's there all the time and you can't do anything with. Um, again, this is what it is. You can't do a lot about that. So, front. Open that. Out. Turn it on. And go to the back. We want to swing this out. Which way should we swing this? Go on there first. Unfold the mower first. Or first, second. And turn it on, drop it down, might need to adjust it a little bit. Bring it in a little bit closer, maybe. Maybe a little more. That looks a bit better, doesn't it? Okay, let's rock and roll. Don't know how many barrels it's going to take, but to fulfill the contract, but I'll do what I can. And it's one of those things, as I bail and wrap, if I get, I realise I do need some more, I can always do any bits of grass I've missed. So, let's get those lights on so we can see a bit better. Okay, so I'm going to carry on with this. Uh, possibly the start of the next episode, I might. Windrow. Yeah, I, might. I was thinking I might do the rest of this contract off screen, but I might not. I haven't quite decided yet. You may find me in the next episode. I've got this all done and the bales are on the ground ready to go, possibly. So I'm thinking if I leave it till the morning, the grass will have regrown. Well, there's no bad thing, I suppose, is it? That will give me actually. That's not a bad idea. If I cut this now because the contract is still open, and then by the morning the grass has regrown. If I cut the grass again using the same equipment because the contract is still open, um, I'm going to get double the yield and more bales, which means I make more money on the contract. Surely, or is that another one of my? Am I misremembering? Is that not going to happen? <laughs> if you start a contract, does the grass not grow? I don't know. <laughs> I hope so. I suppose I could test it out and see what happens, can't I? What's the worst that can happen? I make another colossal mess of things. That's possibly how it works. Anyway, that all being said, we have come to the end of this episode. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it more than the last one. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.